What's going on, YouTubers? It's your boy Ray J coming at you with a bass talk from my living room. Just wanted to do a bass talk on perspectives and viewpoints. You know, because I know, personally speaking, I've I know from experience, personally speaking, that when you're learning and because the internet, there's so much information out there, it's easy. It's easy to get overwhelmed. And so I just wanted to talk to you just about that and give you maybe give you some advice on how to really navigate through all this knowledge, especially well, I'm talking about base, but it, you can apply it to uh, any area of your life, especially because yeah. when knowledge is vast or when information is vast, it's uh, you can get overwhelmed easily because it's so much it's like, where do I begin compared to back in the day where... <clears throat> you may have had uh, maybe one or two uh, teachers. So whatever they were spitting out, you were listening to. So And it, it was easy because, you know, I know what to do. You're telling me exactly what to do. So let's go to the Don't Agree. Uh, hi, your name is Shai. Yes, forgive us for all our sins. Continue to cleanse us from all of our unrighteousness. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for another day in the land of living. Thank you for life, health, and strength and ability right now. As we go into this uh, talk lesson, help me speak with clarity, help the viewers to hear and understand with clarity. And as we want to play, continue to give the increase in all things. You'll get, in all things, you'll get all the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. So, like I was saying, oh yes, say hi, JoJo. Say hi. You got about ten million people. Watching you, well, not really, maybe about 50. Nima, say hi. They are under the weather. But I'm not. That's the spirit that's trying to attack me. But I rebuke it. I rebuke that sneeze. And don't you come with your coughing. Or you're blowing up your nose. But So anyway, like I was saying, with, with perspective. And the base, when I'm just uh, talk about it for the base, I'm not going to give my, you know, world changing, you know, life altering speeches. I'm not going to do that. So within the base world, there are many d different base teachers. Each teacher or even each player, each, whether you're a teacher or you just play, you have a different way of playing. Stop, Jojo. You have a different way of teaching. And within that, if you're trying to learn from someone or just try to understand their mindset, you're going to get a different perspective from, you know, each play. Stop it. So, and again, like I said, because knowledge is there's so much stuff out here. You try to soak up as much as uh, you can because you really want to, you know, be the best basis uh, that you can be. Stop. So, while searching and searching, I and I, I can speak from my own experience. When, you know, I first started learning, or even now, you know, I was always on YouTube, you know, typing, typing like a player's name or just like something I wanted to learn. And let's say, for example, I wanted to learn about arpeggio. If you talk about if you YouTube base arpeggios, you'll get like twenty to fifty different you know people talking about arpeggios, and every teacher would teach it differently. It's the same thing, it's the same structure. It's arpeggios, but it's taught differently because everybody has a his or her own spin on it. It's just like frying chicken. If you go to ten different households and say, hey, "How do you fry chicken?" You know, there are going to be some similarities. You know, you get, you need flour, uh, maybe salt and pepper, but everybody has, like, I, again, his or her own, her own way of making chicken. It's the same thing about a bass playing. Everyone has a different way of teaching based off of their experiences. Just like you go to Derek Bennett, he's going to have one way. You go to Scott Devine, he's going to have a different way. Victor Wood and so forth and so on. They're, they're masters of their craft, but they have a different way of explaining and breaking down. So that's what you first you want to first understand is that they're teaching one thing is just a different spin. 
And where it can get overwhelming is when you're learning something from, you know, different people all the time. And by that, I mean, like, if you wanted to learn, let's just say, like, one time you may watch me and I do a lesson, you try to soak it up, and then you watch someone else, and you watch maybe, like, 10 different lessons by 10 different people. That's where it becomes overwhelming. And I say it's overwhelming because you really don't retain everything that uh, is being brought out. Or if you're just uh, Googling arpeggios or YouTubing arpeggios to learn, each teacher is just giving you a different uh, way that they approach arpeggios. And you could kind of, it could kind of get confusing where, but I thought this teacher said, said this, but now he's saying this. But now he's saying this, so or she's saying this, so what's really going on? So again, and if you ever uh, experience that, or or when you experience, just remember, it's the it's frying chicken. People are just I love fried chicken. Well, let's just say let's just say bait or barbecue chicken. It's barbecue chicken. It's just their approach to it. So the best thing you can do is let's just say. If you could dedicate a week, let's just say one week, you want to pick a topic that you want to really learn and try to and try to grow at. Because I I know I still do this. Like if someone uh, plays something, chill, young bull, you did it, not me. I'm talking to the people. So anyway, because I know me, if you know one of my uh, master teachers, you can find them on YouTube. Like, for example, if Derek Bennett, he just did a lesson. So it says, get funky with bass chords. I watched that. Now, if Scott Devon posts something, I'm going to watch that. And it could be totally different. It could be something about the 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 uh, importance of the flat nine or something. They don't go together, but because they're, you know, giving out this information, I want to soak it as much up. The problem comes into play uh, if I can't remember what they were talking about. It's like I just watched it to watch it because I know I need to watch it. But it's about learning comprehension. To learn something and do you understand what you learned? And not only that, to exercise it, to execute it, to be able to incorporate it in your playing. Not just learning it, just to say you learned it. Because everything you want to learn in your bass playing, you have, you eventually want to be able to... Uh, perform when you're playing and not just in practice so to that i would recommend or just give advice that you pick a topic there's so many things to work on uh with your bass playing you can start from uh like the jojo stop the major scales minor scales you do arpeggios uh chords you know uh shape shifting I just sound like I'm a mystic. I said shape shifting, you know, just working uh, on your finger, finger and exercise, whatever. Dedicate a week to whatever part of your your bass playing you would like to work on. So, for example, if I wanted to work on arpeggios this week, that means I'm just dedicate this week to working on my arpeggios. Of course, I'm gonna still do my finger and exercises. But everything else, I'm going to dedicate to arpeggios. So if you look up 10 different teachers talking about arpeggios, you're still in the same house. And by doing that, you will see the different styles of teaching. And you will also be able to uh, draw from each one. Like, okay, this is what he's saying uh, when he did that. Stop. My son is being potty trained, and now every 10 seconds he wants to take off his diaper and try to change himself and play with his junk. Why are you jumping? Sorry, y'all. This is this is life. This is us. This is me. Back up. So, like I said, so by doing that, you're keeping yourself from being overwhelmed by learning so about so much stuff all at one time. You're just you're just trimming the fat, but I'm working on on arpeggio. So even if you listen to ten different teachers, 
since because they're talking about arpeggios, they're going to give you a different way of approaching arpeggios. And then the next week, or even if you just want to do for for a day, or maybe two or three days, or the next week you want to learn about seventh chords, or seventh progressions, or uh, you know the modes, or even when it comes to a mode, break the modes down. So today I'm gonna to work on an Ionian mode for the next three days. Just find different stuff to do that. You just want to set yourself up for success, and the way you do that. Uh, when it comes to learning and turning that from turning what you learn into actual playing, you want to trim it down. You want to learn it, learn a single individual uh, lesson or subject, and get stay with that subject until you're able to perform it out loud. So I would say. Let's say, let's just, again, I'm just using arpeggios because it's easy. I'm not saying you got to do this. But say, for example, okay, well, for the next three days, I'm going to work on my arpeggio. And I won't move on, and I won't move on from this lesson until I'm able to incorporate it in one of the songs I have to play. Whether if it's at church, church or a regular gig, no matter what gig it is, I will move on from the arpeggios once I play you know, arpeggio style, or once I do it in my playing. And that could be your test. And that's when you would know if you're ready to move on. Because if you can't play, there's no really, you don't want to learn it just to say, oh, yeah, I heard that. I saw that. Or, yeah, I, I listened to that. That was a good one. Where's the fruits? You know what I mean? You plant seeds to yield fruit, to yield fruit, to build a tree, to yield fruit. You know what I mean? You don't just plant a seed and not a, and don't expect it to uh, grow or anything. So don't feel overwhelmed if you're like and always if you're feeling overwhelmed even when learning like one thing, just take a break. There's nothing wrong with taking a break. Because the thing about bass playing, you're forever getting better. You're not wasting any time. And I'm not taking I'm not talking like a month or a year break. I'm just talking maybe a couple of days. You know, just to reset your mind. It's not like, oh, if I stop training, I'm going to get slower. It's not like we're training for a season that's come up and coming. You want to be. No, it's not like that. If you're feeling overwhelmed, just take a relax, a break. It's the summer now in most areas. Well, it's June everywhere. And I think it's universally hot, every, except in uh, Antarctica or Alaska. But I heard it's like around 20 degrees. That's pretty hot in Alaska. So anyway, don't feel overwhelmed. If you feel overwhelmed, remember, relax, take a breath, just pause, and just readjust, just adjust how you approach your education of the base itself, okay? So this is your boy Ray J. If you have any questions, as always, just hit me up. You know, I'm always uh, responding to comments, and thank, thank you for all the viewers, all the people who like, subscribe, and comment. I really appreciate it. You know, I got a growing family, as you can see. Got my two sons. Dang, JoJo. Say hi to the people. Nimai, say hi. Say hi, JoJo. Wakanda, JoJo. Wakanda. He knows what it is. All right, it's your boy Ray J over and out.